So I'm out of the hospital and I'm feeling a lot better. I feel very sick still, but that's probably because of the morphine. Uh, it's actually pretty cool that, that look, controlled substances. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's a controlled substance. Um, I came out of hospital and I had a message from my mum uh, and she was like, I've turned up at the house. I've turned up. So there's my mum. So, Hi. Yeah, she's there and she's like kind of uh, turned up out the blue. So, you know. Through the snow. Through the snow, yeah. So, yeah, how do you. It's not very good down in Western Supermare. It yeah. really is snowy. Yeah, what did you think about everything, mum? Well, I was pleased they didn't find anything else that they thought was going to cause you a problem in your neck or your head. Um, although we've always said you've had a problem with your head, but they obviously uh, didn't agree with that. Uh, uh -huh. uh, um, but, uh, <laughs> anyway, yeah, so we've now got a journey to make next week in seeing how we can get your operations sorted and get those done as soon as possible. Get these flipping sarcomas and these yep, things done. taken out of our lymph nodes. And then hopefully uh, that will help you a lot so well hopefully it'll keep me alive and then yeah. we can stave it off for long enough so it don't grow back but yeah we I think I think the key to this is to explain to people that what happened yesterday to me was out of the ordinary for anyone really at the end of the day my immune system for all intensive purposes from from what we can tell has become very low. Uh, I've been getting sick progressively over a week or so, uh, and over a period of time as well, there's been circumstantial things that have happened and changed in me, uh, which have led up to this little episode of me basically having some kind of um, what's the word for it? It's, it's, mini it's uh, yeah, little a mini seizure, yeah, little mini mini stroke or a neurological like lapse. Um, so basically what happened is my, my whole face and my side all went completely numb and didn't work and were playing up and basically just really scared the hell out of me. Uh, you'll be able to see because I'll put up the video tomorrow of everything that I shot, including the paramedics, uh, them coming out, everything that I was feeling at that time, uh, everything that went on with that, um, I filmed in the hospital, the scans, everything, I filmed it all. Because I think it's important to show, like I said, every single aspect of this from my perspective um, to everyone. So I filmed that all and yeah, I wanna show it to people because I think it's important but it, it was just a freak accident. It's lucky because we've actually found out more information about what's inside me and we can potentially stop it quicker. It's meant that other professionals who are in the field trying to help us have uh, now stepped up to the mark and said, right, we're gonna get this done straight away. So people have worked through the night, uh, literally through the night to help me to find out answers uh, we luckily found nothing in my head. Uh, they're still concerned about the lymph nodes in my neck, but they can't do anything without a biopsy. Uh, it's not showing properly on the scan, but neither did my original um, my original sarcomatoid carcinoma. So these things don't actually show very easily. So they, they're gonna test all this out and find out all this stuff and this information over a period of time. But I'm being treated by a completely different team to the people who helped me um, over this uh, these 24 hours, um, but the the Russell's Hall team that we were snowed in with were amazing. So they were really, really, really good, really, really grateful for them. And I'm really grateful for the fact that they've given me so much insight into certain things and they've given me so much insight into options for me. Um, and yeah, I was a broken man this morning uh, I assure you, because a doctor came up to me who was a specialist in this field and basically said that he thinks it's spread up my neck and into my head uh, and you, you, can, you can physically feel the lumps on my neck, like you can actually physically feel them but they are looking like they're within normal range but they have got, this whole scan and everything has got to be checked 
by someone else now so it, it's important that that's done as well so yeah thank you for being so supportive and being so lovely over the the course of like what the last 24 hours and yeah uh, I'm so so happy with everyone uh, just being lovely so yeah good night and tomorrow I'll, I'll get my mum and dad on a video and we'll talk to them about lots of other stuff so if you've got any questions for them put them in the comments yeah and we'll, we'll get this sorted for you peace